Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to shows and read reviews online at WCBE.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Mindy McFan. And this is It's Movie Time. Yes, it is. It's always time for a mother. It's always time for movies <laughs> about <laughs> mothers. How's that? <laughs> Both to be constant. <laughs> so we're talking about one that's called The Lost Daughter, directed by First Timer, mm -hmm. debut from Maggie Gyllenhaal. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. What do you learn about mom in this? I don't know if you learn about mom, and I, mom specifically, you learn about mom Ming. Ah. That's the way um, I looked at it. And I thought, I, I still don't know which one was the lost child. <laughs> there were so many lost children. There were, really, there really were. Because we do have a lost child for a while yep. at the beach. Yep, yep. And then our protagonist, yep. um, is Lita. She, yes. Is she the way she is because she was a lost child? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. So it's a complex character study, yeah. it sounds like to me. That, that, um, that's the, the, the fun of parenthood. It keeps on going. <laughs> I was thinking of you. She's this bright academic, independent, uh, going on holiday. I mean, she, it, it looks like she, she teaches maybe at Harvard. Mm -hmm. It's Cambridge near Boston. Mm -hmm. um, but we're never told that for sure. But she is Brit right. by birth. Right. And what's she doing here? Uh, I think she's grading papers. <laughs> that seemed to be what she was doing. <laughs> so this is a Greek island, mm -hmm. unnamed, mm -hmm. and she's on holiday, and uh, played by Olivia Coleman. What about, what about her? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love her so much, so I always go in with that prejudice, but she just, she blows my mind. <laughs> she just blows my mind. I think she is just... Um, I, 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 and I, I love the fact, like, like Maggie Gyllenhaal, I think, is a pretty intense person. So yes. the intensity of the movie kind of matches up with what I know about her. Whereas Olivia Coleman is this lighthearted, funny, you know, and boy was she intense in this movie. <laughs> now, most people know her from winning the Oscar for The Favorite. Or from The Crown. Or, for, or from The Crown TV, The Crown. Yeah, yeah. And then in film, The Favorite. So yeah. she's... She's been very active in the last five, four or five She's years. Just all over the place. Yeah. What's it about her character in this lost child? Well, I, I think... I, mean, I shouldn't say... I should say... So what's, what's, what's her character like in this... Uh, yeah, it was, we're calling it the lost, cho lost daughter. Yeah. Listen to me. Yeah. I'm, I'm mixing them all up here. Yeah. I know. It's I understand all the same. why. Yeah. yeah, because it's, but it's, it, that, the, the daughter aspect is the generational aspect of it. And to me, the kind of uh, poignancy of the movie is that this is just a well-kept secret. That women do not just born into uh, being adept at motherhood. I guess that's the word I want to use. I want to be careful what word I use, but mm -hmm. it's like, you know, some people are maybe born as artists or engineers or whatever it is. And there's this fallacy that all women are born knowing how to mother, wanting to mother, enjoying mothering, that all of it is just this sublime little frolic of joy with your babies. <laughs> and that absolutely put me over the edge when I had my first kid because I was raised around a lot of mothers. My, I, my siblings were older than me. They yeah. had a lot of kids. My mother had uh -huh. a lot of kids. She was a Lamaze teacher. So it was like babyitis in my house. Okay. So I had my first kid and I went, whoa, dude, mm -mm. this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> and you have had how many? Four. And, oh, and you have had four. <laughs> and so you would say you weren't born to it, but um, you, 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 you worked into it. Yes and no. I think everybody works into it. I always, I always knew I wanted to have kids. Didn't know if I wanted to get married, but I always knew yeah. I wanted to have children. I, I mean, I work with kids still. Mm -hmm. I love children. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't take away from the brutality of the job, that it is so unbelievably difficult. Uh, at one point, uh, Lita, the, our lead here, uh, mm -hmm. played by Coleman, says to another character, Children are a crushing responsibility. Mm -hmm. Notice that adjective, Mindy. Absolutely. A crushing responsibility. Yeah. And how does that interact? I, some of this we have to reveal. Some yes. tough beans because it, 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 <laughs> we, can, we got to Right, because we got to. So how does, that, how does that get in there, that crushing responsibility? Well, the first way it got in there is because there's 
at the beginning there was these really tight shots, and I was like, why is she getting like so close to these people? And the, sh the, the camera shots were claustrophobic. Okay. I mean, sometimes they got up so close, and I thought, that makes me feel like she is feeling that, that parental claustrophobia. And it's not that men don't feel it, it's just that was not the viewpoint that they were talking about. It was the viewpoint of a parent. And I, I, because there's so many lies that go along with being a mother, that when you have a child and things aren't Facebook ready, so the baby doesn't sleep and you can't mm -hmm. nurse and your husband isn't helpful and you look and feel like crap, all of that you're ill prepared for. So when it happens, you, might, you, you think that you're doing something wrong. And, 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 and fundamentally, what she needed was help. <laughs> well, as she's, as she's sitting on the beach, mm -hmm. just enjoying herself on holiday, this raucous American family, mm -hmm. a whole bunch of people, a load of them, have been coming there for years because they had ancestors on this Greek island. Yeah. And they are obnoxious, I think. It's, you know, mm -hmm. and, and she's looking... And probably thinking to yourself, boy, you know, here's my, my idyllic time has just been crushed by this. And yet she watches. What does she see in that family that helps us with our title? A, another mother. <laughs> another mother and a child. A mother struggling with a child, I guess, is even a better yeah. apt way of putting it. And I think, as you appropriately said, not all children are wonderful. No. And this kid was being bragged. Yeah. And yeah. Pl playing with her little doll. Yeah. And a mom who is a cutie pie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, and she goes on to prove this a little bit later uh, is a handful as well. Yes. And it's interesting how Coleman observes, and she just changes every, every little perception. You got an idea that that she's concerned, but the film allows us to go back, flash back. Yeah, to her two children. Yeah, to her. But you don't know what's going on. I mean, you yeah. don't know why Olivia Col Coleman has this. Um, uh, inappropriate nosiness into this woman's life. Thank you. You know, you, you start to wonder, did a, did a child die or is a child going to die? I mean, I, I, I thought it was much more nefarious at the beginning uh, yes. than it turned out to yeah. be. Yeah, there's something ominous about it. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. Together with those close-up shots. And the music. Yeah, and the music and uh, her, the way she reacts that is Coleman. Yeah. Even to people other than this mother who's having difficulty with her child spins us back, flashback, mm -hmm. to her as a young woman played by Jessie Buckley. I love her. Oh my gosh. She is so good. I discovered her in something like The Wild Rose, I mm -hmm. think is the name of it. Well, and, the, and, and her husband was the bad guy from Poldark, which it took me oh a while gosh. to recognize him because I've only seen him in hundreds of years ago. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. But there's there's this ambivalence about Coleman's character, about Lita, uh, in the way she responds to people. Do you remember anybody else that she responds to? Uh, uh, yeah, Ed Harris. Oh, who was how how cool is Ed Harris? Yes, and I, I, I at first I was like, what is even the purpose of his character? And I think the purpose of his character is to show relationships didn't kind of easy to her. No, I know. You know? I, and here is what a charmer, yeah. and he is the. Uh, uh, manager of the complex, yep. and uh, he is—he is not himself being obnoxious. He's—he's he's, he's trying to ingratiate himself with her, yeah, very gently. Very, and she's just this one cold <laughs> lady. Yeah, <laughs> yep. um, Now back to the mother, played by Jesse. Back to Lita uh, as a young woman, yep. played by Jesse, a beginning scholar. Yep. And what's her challenge? Having two children and a life, besides your children. Yes. And it didn't, her husband didn't seem up to the challenge either, so it seemed like the lion's share of everything was dumped on him. He, he wasn't, or on her. He wasn't around. She has two little girls, which was very interesting because any parent will understand that she had one child that was docile and easy to manage, yes. and one kid who wasn't. Oh, boy. One kid who fought back, quote, unquote. Um, and she did not know how to manage a kid that wouldn't do as they were told. Yeah. And here she is at the beginning of her career, mm -hmm. evidently a bright girl, mm -hmm. and she is um, she's praised by other academicians. Yeah, uh, she has the typical uh, what should I say? I've seen it for so many years. The typical attractive young academic, and the 
the uh, predatory mm -hmm. uh, professors, mm -hmm. would you say? And we've mm -hmm. got one played by the Skarsgård here. Yep. One, another one of those god darn Skarsgårds. <laughs> they're everywhere. Uh, they're everywhere. <laughs> but, uh, but I thought that that was a really interesting part of her life. That, that, that she gave herself into him. Yeah, as an escape. Yeah. I mean, I, I didn't get the impression it was some love or anything. She just wanted out. Yeah. Of course, he's a charmer, too. Mm -hmm. Professor sure. spouting all this beautiful language yeah. and praising her. He's yeah. a, a seasoned and he praises her in front of everyone. Yes. And she is just, she's finding the rewards that she didn't Enticing. Get. Wow. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's still hard for women to have their cake and eat it too. Yes. It's just the way it is. Mindy McFan, the film is The Lost Daughter. What do you recommend to our listeners. This is on Netflix, so they can go to it in five minutes if they want. It's wonderful, but it may push buttons for people. <laughs>